Nimaweka sana mmechoka kongoja finally finally we alive with Rwanda's number one recording artist a businessman a father co-owner UGB basketball of course namzungumzia Bruce Melody all the way all the way from Kigali Rwanda is it Kigali or Chigali uh it depend on how you speak i don't know it's been on your your the, the way you read or you you pronounce uh-huh. but for me i say kigali <laughs> Welcome to Best Radio at CLKE. Welcome back Nairobi. I know you've been here so many times. How do you feel to be back home? First of all, I'm so excited and it's my first time here in the Best Radio. Yeah, I want to know what's going on and uh, I want to eat some chapati uh-huh. and some um, skuma wiki. You know we don't have skuma wiki back at home. How? We don't have that. I don't know why. No, come on. Yeah, we don't have skuma. You have a beautiful land, green land. Yeah, I know. But we don't have sukuma wiki at some point I don't know why. Yeah. And we are here to eat sukuma wiki. <laughs> All right. Before we eat some sukuma wiki, uh-huh. let before we eat some sukuma wiki, mm-hmm. it's high time now to appreciate your work you've been doing amazing thing for the last 10 years in the Rwanda music industry. I believe you've mentored, you've inspired, you've pushed Rwanda music to another level. Before we go into that because I just want to acknowledge we have one of the baddest bodies rising producers all the way from yeah. Man, yeah, man. What's up my boy? I'm good man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Introduce yourself. My name is Keys, producer from Rwanda. Keys, producer from Rwanda. Yeah, Welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to Thank you, man. Keys is the one who produced my song with Shaggy. The guy is, is the one who played the other saxo. He's <laughs> baddest. He's the baddest. Yeah. yeah. Good good to see you. Good to meet you. Of course we we, we are live on bestradio.co.ke. Now just to ask you, you know Bruce um as an artist you need to plan for your future. Yeah. We've seen you doing a couple of shows you've performed in bigger stages. You've managed to connect East Africa community mm. through music, mm. you know? You venturing into, you know, investing in in having a side hustle. Tuna semanga side hustle. You know, you decided to invest in basketball because the basketball uh, basketball, you know, uh, basketball in Rwanda had got some melody. Mm. Bruce Melody yeah, yeah. as an investor co-owner. Mm. Why did you decide to make that move? Was it a money move? Was it were you insecure about now your future? Were you trying to secure your secure the bags? No, no, no. We need to grow like in 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 any way. And I don't even invest I didn't even only invest in basketball basketball but also in other businesses there's some other businesses which are coming but especially for basketball mm-hmm. uh the basketball in Africa is growing everyone can see and if i may say in Rwanda we do have a good sport for basketball because when it comes about the good arenas in Africa you know we have uh, the Kigali Arena Big Arena it's a um, I think it's a good opportunity and it's a good place to be so you can see properly where the basketball is going. Mm-hmm. So as I see, as I know and as I see I know that uh the basketball Africa is growing to the level uh, that NBA is ready to invest in it. Nice. So as a businessman I see that as smart move. Opportunity and a smart move and then I invest a little in that. Okay. But to be honest, I'm a musician full time. I do that as a hustle, as a side hustle. Okay. So I'm not afraid of my future in music. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sure that the future is bright. I know that where music is going, like we are doing it professionally compared to to, to what we used to do back in the days. So I'm not afraid but I'm growing up. I'm just trying to expand and do some other businesses. All right, we're going to discuss about now your musical journey in the next few but for now I've got some Katerina coming for you because I know the story behind Katerina mm. is something amazing but for that we're going to discuss in the next few. I know it means a lot to your family. Yeah, of course yeah. your wife's name is Katerina but for now for those that are listening on Bass Radio to see the KE you can send us question on 0716250933. I've got Katerina coming right away. <laughs> 
Welcome back. This is Base Radio to see all the key. It's Summer Bay as our featuring conscience taking us through, of course, in the next few. I've got an amazing, amazing, of course, Kunaila tree, uh, a song that is training, of course, Funga Macho. Just to remind you, if you tune in for the first time, I've got one and only Bruce Melody live on Base Radio to see all the key all the way from Kigali, Rwanda. You know, it's not easy when you get opportunities as an artist. You know, our dream is to grow up to change the lives of our people you know bruce melody once you know attended a show in kigali ronda showing a legend a grammy winner of course um brother shaggy and then end up we don't know in 10 years time 20 years time they're working on a song of course we're gonna discuss about the song the new song funga march in the next week but for now you know mm. katerina was playing earlier on you know there's a time katerina was a hit in 254 you know one of our that, that was in 2018 because i dropped the song in 2017 uh-huh and uh, after uh-huh. one year and a half uh-huh. that when the song was a hit in in in, in, in uh, kenya and i was shocked i was like what happened what is it mm-hmm. why this song is like the numbers was growing every day mm-hmm. i was like what is happening now someone sent me a video mm-hmm and then they told me this is the governor his name is Joe he's the one who introduced your song in Kenya I was like how what was the feeling the the problem was how is the politician related with music <laughs> because for us they don't dance they don't they don't know much about music they don't appreciate creatives i don't i cannot say that No 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 they they are not into music. They're not into music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I was so surprised and I was uh, I asked people and they were like no 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 no. For him he enjoyed music. And then I did a, a, a research on him. Mm-hmm. I got to know who is Governor Joho and shout out to him. So at a point I I released a song in 2017 Katerina and then after one year and a half the song started trending exactly. out outside of the country of Rwanda mm-hmm. that was it that was it okay uh, about Katerina as well just want to ask you you know we express love by being close to our family you know we show our love you know i know you're a family man mm-hmm. you always spend time with your loved one whenever you travel and you come back i've saw it on your socials mm-hmm. spending all these times with your daughters you know mm-hmm. how do you balance uh you know your music your family life because even Katerina was a song dedicated to your wife To be honest, I I cannot say I know how to uh maybe drive than singing or cooking than singing. All I know is music, all I do is music. And and speaking of Katerina, that was my feelings. I don't take it as a as a song. It's it's like a letter or that it comes in my heart. And boom, I recorded the song and it's so it's the biggest song I have right now. If I may say. So, I make time for my family because it's the second like it's the first part of my life and then the second part of my life is music. So it's very easier for me to sing about my family. It's very easier for me to sing about my wife. And making time for them, it's a must. I don't plan for it. If I travel, I miss them. When I come back, I have to stay at home at least three to five days to spend good time with my kids, my lovely wife, and I go back to business. Nice, that's good. Mm-hmm. Of course, we'll we'll find out if you've made any sacrifice, any musical sacrifice for your family. Later on, we'll discuss about that. But for now, yeah. I've got some Diana Bahati featuring one and only Bruce Melody. Diana coming through yeah, yeah, yeah. this right now because I understand this song has another story in the industry. <laughs> We yet yeah, to find yeah. out. For now, stay tuned on Best Radio to see you at KE. <laughs> Kwa sababu iko sawa ni iko njema Kuja place no man can taste Ah uh, that you go away My heart will always stay So young and free like we We will we always be Hata wengine wakisema watasema Who the best no man can taste? Oh, 
So what so so Hey <laughs> Way <laughs> Bruce Melody giving us some melody of course live on Base Radio to see the KE. If you tune in for the first time, welcome to Base Radio to see the KE. As well, you can find us on my Safarkama. Bruce Melody becomes a Rwandanese artist who has managed to connect East African artists. I'm talking about Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenyans through music. How did you manage that, bro? You know, I'm from Rwanda, and there's a time I sat down and I was like, we are good, we are good here, we are good here in Rwanda, we need to expand, we need to collaborate with uh, different artists. And for the first time when I went out, I collaborated with Calligraph Jones. No, 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 first time I met him in Coke Studio, that was in 2017, mm -hmm. but I had, I, 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 we did a song. I don't really remember if it was 2019. I don't really remember that. Mm -hmm. But this Sour, Sour was the first song in East Africa, like my solo song. And the next, I'm, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. the next was Harmonize. Now, now, Eddie Kenzo. Eddie Kenzo. Eddie Kenzo from Uganda. You know, I have a big uh, fan base in Uganda. Oh, nice. I, I really wanted to work with them. I worked with Shiba. Eddie Kenzo, Palazzo. Mm -hmm. And then I came here back. I recorded a song with uh, Ben Sol and uh, uh, Ben Sol and uh, Very? Bien. Bien. But that one, it's not yet released. And then I recorded another one with Bien. Eish. Not released yet. And uh, I recorded a song with uh, Bahati. Mm -hmm. And uh, it knows me from Congo. And then I recorded a song with Double J from Burundi, just to to grow my fan base in East Africa. Nice. And I hope all this work did something on my career because I have some fans here in Kenya because mm -hmm. of the songs which introduced me here. Uh, uh, there's Katerina, there is Sawa Sawa, there is Diana, and more songs are coming. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing all that to make my music great and mm -hmm. I want people to know who is Bruce Melody and if I can add any happiness in your life I'm here to do that Kenyans uh, Kenyans love your song very well they appreciate your song very well do you get a chance maybe to interact with Kenyan artists on one on one apart from musical uh, working on a musical project do you have a Kenyan favorite um, artist maybe a favorite song jamming you know here in Kenya there is a lot of good artists I cannot say I have this one particular artist who I, I appreciate. There's a lot. There's a uh, uh, Nyashiski. There's uh, Ben Sol. There's uh, BNMA. There's a lot of good, good artists, and I'm very sad that we don't have South Soul anymore <laughs> because I used to be uh, the a big fan. Big fan. Big, th those guys. Ah, uh, yeah. But time comes, and we start from. Fresh again. Yeah, yeah. So, when when we talk about Kenyan music, know that I'm a big fan of Gengeton. Yeah. We have Urban Tune as well. Yeah, I had that. Uh -huh. I had that with the clubs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, me being here, I'm trying to learn and associate with more artists and get to know more about Kenyan music because I feel like I want to know, I want to learn. More, more. Mm. Is there a specific uh, Kenyan artist about, uh, who has inspired you musically, you normally listen to the music at times when you're low? Not really, but now, when I listen to Nyashiski's music, every time I'll be like, oh, <laughs> go this guy is unpredictable. You know, he can release hip hop songs and then he can go to these love, love, slow songs. Mm -hmm. Touching hearts, and he come back as a bad man, rapping or that. You know, mm -hmm. I I like Nyashiski's music. Nyashiski's music. Mm -hmm. What about um um the the music uh, industry of Kenya? And also, Bien, Bien Aime, Bien M, Bien Bien. Yeah, he's. But, but, uh, I used to listen to South Soul. Uh, every day, every day, every day, but. When they started doing this type of uh, rumba, uh, I was like, "Wow, what is these guys are doing?" And now Ben did, gay, gay, 
Mbwem bwe. Yeah, muzika na jena mbwe. Mbwe. I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. What was that? That's a good song, man. That's a good song. And you know, you you guys have a lot of good artists. We do have. And I appreciate I appreciate Kenyan music. Yeah, so much. Big up to BN, big up to Kenyan artists of course as well. I've got some lifestyle for you, you know. Lifestyle coming through for you of course BN featuring Waka Dinali, of course playing on Base Radio to Seal KE. Next we're going to discuss about now your creative process. I understand as an artist, mm -hmm. you need a setup, you know, some good vibes, some good music, some hop maybe. Mm -hmm. We're not sure. You're going to discuss about that in the next okay, few. Right. For now, some vibe style, yeah. <laughs> A lifestyle BN featuring Skawa Cardinale who's playing on Bass Radio at CEO the KE. Coming next for you guys is about you know Tanzanian King of Jeshi Harmonize featuring Bruce Melody Zanzibar. But for now, we're gonna discuss about you know I have uh, Bruce Melody live on Bass Radio to see the KE. Bruce, you know, we've seen artists going to studios with they have their spiritual beliefs. Some goes to with Bible, some got some hub, you know, some have to drink some special maybe drink. I don't know about your creative process. Do you need your family around you to write some good music for us look at this most of the artists they lie <laughs> when they're about to talk when, they, when they're about to talk the process the creative process uh, most of them they lie for me i'm going to be honest with you unreal yeah first thing first i need a glass of gin <laughs> 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 Way yes producer i need my gin here right now uh -huh. then uh -huh. a little tonic uh -huh. so i have gin and tonic uh -huh. and then i need to be in a good mood with my producer you know we need first to crack bond some jokes talking about what is happening mm -hmm. yeah how's the industry how's the families like we need to connect mm -hmm. that's why uh i need to know the producer before i record you know there are, there are some slow producers for those it's very hard for me to work with them because when it's about when it's about to start like being creative mm -hmm. we need to first get time talk to know to get to know each other drink some gin you take whatever you take if you smoke if you whatever you do do your something man. and then when it comes about creating it's always quick for me i really need it quickly we need to produce the beat together because i'm a producer as well so we create the beat first and then we do the melody like we hum with the with the hummings no lyrics after we have the, all that this the structure of the song that's when i start writing nice so about writing it depends on what i'm going through at the moment okay i have this song uh i don't know it's not him who produced it i came from home and i had some argue with my wife and then i recorded a song <laughs> i don't i'm not going to <laughs> hope she's not listening no 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 she knows the song she knows the song okay. i'm not going to release the song <laughs> but you know there's a time you feel like i cannot talk right now so i recorded the song i sent it to her she, she now has the song and she hated it, but she didn't delete it <laughs> <laughs> so for me sometimes i buy songs you buy yeah, yeah i do buy songs because someone can come up with a good good song why would you give why why would you give it to another person for me i like music if you have a good music i can buy it how much have you bought maybe uh the, the highest amount Bro, i have been here for you, you, more you than 10 years you spend how much highest you spend on a music buying a music buying a music yeah like uh dollar how many dollars for four thousand us dollars four thousand for one song i mean that's like 500 300 six six hundred thousand kenya shillings Mm -hmm. okay you know sometimes people come up with a good good idea with good melody and good everything and then they don't want to release the song why can't you give it the song to me and i release it yeah i love good things <laughs> what because yeah. why ask about the creative process is that you know it's just to find out because you've kept us waiting when is the album coming out ah no you see uh i released a song with shaggy uh, last three months Mm -hmm. and you guys are saying 
<laughs> only can't can't you guys be patient? Three months. We've been patient enough. No. Look at this. I don't want to give you 16 songs at the it's, same it's, time. It's all about us. It's all about but I have to think for you guys because, <laughs> because you are my boss. I have to think for you. Uh -huh. And I need to give you a pause. So when I give you this big, big uh uh package, mm. you ha you will have the time to to listen to Bruce Melody, to the new Bruce Melody. Okay. So I'm 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 working on my album. Mm -hmm. It's almost done. Like it's on uh, seventy five percent. Coming out. Yeah, coming out. And give us a date, I'm, a month. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not giving you. Uh, but, but this year, hopefully. Prob probably in May. May, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So, this album. I'm telling you this for free. This album is the thing I've worked on with all my heart and my energy this guy produced some of the songs there's another producer whose name is Ele. i don't know the guy we, we sang together that's why he's a producer as well so there is made beat there is banga from nigeria there's a uh, different producers and I've, I've been working on this album for three years now wow so I want yeah. it to be the way I want it. You know, people keep pressuring me like, when are you dropping the album? When are you? But I want it to be perfect as I want. Perfect. I deliver. All right. We'll be waiting, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we're going to discuss about now because I know for sure, guys, are you ready to funga some macho? Because in the next few, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be fungering macho. When she's around, we'll be playing later on. But for now, I've got some Zanzibar vibes. Harmonize featuring Bruce Melody playing on bass radio, the CO, the K ear. How was your time in Zanzibar? Oh, Zanzibar, man. I love Zanzibar. And I love Mombasa. <laughs> you know, you know, we don't have sea <laughs> back at home, and we don't have those big, big beaches. Uh -huh. So when we went to Zanzibar, it was great time. Mm -hmm. We was having fun. You, you can see even when, when if you know the video, you can see you can see we were relaxing, having fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on jet jet skis, swimming, drinking. Yeah, it was good. It was good time. Good time. Mm -hmm. What made you work with? Um Harmonize. Most of the artists here in East Africa I work with, they're my friends. Okay. You know, we, we spend a lot of time as friends than even artists. Oh. Yeah, because because like Harmonize have been my friend for a long time. And and one day he was like, Bruce, you, you know we don't have any song together. Mm -hmm. And he called me, we, re we recorded, there is a song of mine we recorded first, it called Totally Crazy. And this was the second song. So he's just a friend of mine. He comes to Kigali. You know, Kigali is a good place when you want to relax. If you want to relax one day, just turn up. I'll make it happen. You'll make it happen. Yeah, and he, he, he pulls up for me. He comes to Kigali. He relaxes low key. No media, nothing. We have good times. And then I go back to Tanzania. We go to Zanzibar. All that as a friend. And then. That's the time we sit down and think of any project. That's how we came up with the Zanzibar song. You're the right person to ask this because Harmonize is a friend. Of course, Harmonize is an artist as well. Mm. What is that one thing special about Harmonize as an artist? Uh, that we don't know. He, first of all, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. Everyone knows that. But he also... <laughs> Ash, everything... You know that that guy posts everything. <laughs> There's nothing you don't Heartbreaks. know about him. With uh, a lot of girlfriends, or that. <laughs> but when he's in a, in a relationship, uh. he is into it until they break up. Uh, it's, it's totally different from a lot of you guys. <laughs> you know, you can cheat. When uh. harmonize is in love, he uh. never cheat. <laughs> You know, you know what Repeat I mean? Repeat that for the... When Harmonize fall in love, he never cheat. Okay. Yeah, until you break up and then he gets a new one. Very fast. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Just to remind you guys, Bruce Melody is in town, of course, for amazing, amazing project. We know very well. It's time for us to funga match. You know, when we dream for the opportunities, the opportunities always come. When we maximize on opportunities, we make it happen because Bruce Melody once sneaked into a concert to watch an, an idol in the music industry, of course, a Grammy winner, Sh 
Shaggy. Of course, Groove Melody managed to work with, you know, the Grammy winner Shaggy. There's a new song coming out, of course, it's out right now across all social media platforms. If you've not heard about it, I'm going to play for you in the next week. But for now, it's about when she's around Funga Macho. Bruce Melody, how did you manage to work with the Grammy you know, it's a dream for anyone to just to meet, you know, forget about meeting, even taking a picture, mm -hmm. just having a conversation with Shaggy, working with Shaggy. And then something that is very interesting about Shaggy, Shaggy managed to hold your hand. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys were moving around, you know, mm -hmm. pushing the songs. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? You very know, fast. You know, it was, it was uh, like I wished to meet Shaggy, but when I met him, he became a brother to me. He's this type of artist. Who you can feel comfortable working with because you cannot you know these these big artists they they just tweet one or two tweets and that's it that's the promotion but the guy can call you and he never like he shows up on time you know we were supposed to do some interviews in new york and always shaggy will be there on time and i decided to start coming at least before 30 minutes and every time i tried that shaggy was there Ah, yeah. So he's a good guy, professional, and he respects people and he loves talents. So I got a chance to be loved with Shaggy. And uh, it's very, very easier for him because he understands the steps. You know, he's from Jamaica. He made it in the US. Like glo globally, he, he made it. So he understands the, the journey and each and every step. So he held my hand. He told me, Bruce, I got you. Don't worry. Let's do this. We did different performances for a promotion of the song, different interviews, TikToks, all that. What in one word, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. Mm. <gasps> From performing at the High Heart Radio Jingle Ball mm. from New York mm. to straight to Bez Radio, playing right now on Bez Radio to see the KE. Funga Macho, Maze. Funga Macho, when she's around, an Afrobeat mixed with Raga with some Randonese flavor, playing on Bez Radio that see all the KE guys. Are you ready, Kufunga Macho? <laughs> When she's around, Funga Macho, when she's around, one and only Bruce Melody featuring uh, Grammy winner, of course, Shaggy. I've got the producer behind, Maze. This hit song right now, trending across all digital platforms, Producer Keys. Is that bro? Man. How are you, man? I'm good, man. You chilled out? <laughs> you thinking about some beats already, yeah, man? Sorry. You've got some beats for us? Yeah, yeah. Guys, many beats, man. Many beats. How was the experience? Maybe you were working with you know, Shaggy and Bruce Melody, getting an opportunity to work with a Grammy winner. Yeah, we first dropped the song with Bruce. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a song, it's a song I created. Uh, I just created a beat. Mm -hmm. Then Bruce came and we did some writings and melodies and to make a hit song in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Then Shaggy jumped in. So Bruce called me and say like... Now, mm. this this was the first song I did with Keys. Okay. Yeah, that's the first song. It's only one song. We recorded with Keys. Only one song. Okay. Yeah. And now, the, the original song was mine. It's called Funga Macho. This is a remix, as you see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So... The original song I had it, I had the beat. Pa -da -da -pa -da -pa -pa -da, and I told Kid Yo, I can record this. We wrote the song. We did everything. I went to Uganda. We shot the video with Sasha Vibes. I released the song, the original song. So I met this guy. His name is Steve. Uh, he's the one of uh, members of S Curve Record in New York. Mm -hmm. He came to Kigali. He heard the song. He liked the song. So he looked for me. We met. He told me, I think we can have Shaggy on this record. I told him, are you serious? The real Shaggy, he was like, yeah, yeah. Mr. Lover. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And then, uh, when the Saint Shaggy song, Shaggy liked this, the song, he liked the, the, the original song. And then they told me, you have to change something because the, the, the original song was in Kinyaranda in Swahili. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called Funga Macho. So they were like, I think we need to change some lyrics make it more English so people can understand what you're singing about and then Shaggy dropped the first when I heard that I was like yeah this is it Shaggy it is happening right now <laughs> <laughs> so we recorded we recorded the song we shot video separately He's, he was now I don't I don't really remember maybe LA mm -hmm. he was touring and then he shot 
his his party i shot mine in rwanda with sasha and uh j wheels that's 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 how the video happened for the first time when i met him it was the time i went to to yes, new york too. for 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 jingle bells and when i met him he was like oh bruce how are you bro i was shocked <laughs> i at the time i was like i'm going to introduce myself as if because i've, I've never met him <laughs> apart from seeing him on video call we are planning for, for things uh-huh. i was like i'm going to tell him yeah this is me bruce melody but for him mm-hmm. he saw me and i was like yo bruce melody how are you you know you know that guy can shout can shout <laughs> <laughs> what did, did how, <laughs> yo he's a welcoming guy and then he was like he had the whole schedule we have to do these interviews and all that and thank god the song is out people are liking the song and we are here playing it in kenya i want you guys to support me i'm uh i'm your artist from east africa down there in kigali <laughs> if you support me you're supporting east african, african music. music of course yeah. who's she when she's around who's that girl you're singing about is you know we don't know <laughs> I know that lady. <laughs> you don't know. I know that lady. <laughs> you know. The vixen I saw on the video was like, no, oh, that's oh, not oh, the uh, same. Uh, that's uh, that no no, that forget about the vixen. Uh, I'm telling you my team knows the lady. <laughs> 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 yeah? yeah what i've learned from uh you working with shaggy is that uh you know when it comes to pushing the music you guys are working together very easily we don't see that in east african artists doing that to uh other artists because at times when you sign when you work with someone you can pay for a collabo mm-hmm. you can pay for distribution you can pay for marketing but what shaggy did to you it's something different were you that so humble that shaggy decided to help you is it something that we should learn as east african artist because we don't see artists Absolute, supporting each other absolutely yes like from from not even east africa i used to do songs with artists and i push a little bit and i'll be like yeah that's enough but what i've learned you know when you decide to do it then do it because Sh- I, i even told that to shagin he was like he was shocked he was like then why do you do that if you don't feel like doing it why would you do it if you if you're doing a project and you feel like this project some um, it's it's mine i'm a part of it my name is on this project then why would you not promote it so that's what i've learned i don't care if if you're you are an upcoming artist or you are a superstar if we need to promote let's promote let's promote All right, Azana coming through for you guys, Bruce Melody, as we always wind up, guys. Send up, keep, keep on sending us some questions because Bruce is about to, you know, give us, because it seems cooler Rwanda, Bruce f- artists, fellow artists are turning into Bruce Vans. I don't know, but for now, I've got some Azana, Bruce Melody coming next for you guys. This is Bass Radio. We are 254 to the core.